Have you ever wondered how mankind has managed to tame the elusive concept of time? Time, an abstract and intangible essence, governs every facet of our existence. It's a ceaseless river flowing, ebbing and never turning back. From the moment we wake, to the moment we close our eyes at night, each tick and tock gently guides us through the rhythm of life. In the early days of civilization, our ancestors found themselves in a world dictated by natural cycles. The rise and fall of the sun, the waxing and waning of the moon, the changing seasons, these were the first timekeepers. In their quest to understand these cycles, ancient civilizations developed a profound understanding of time. It became a central pillar of their existence, influencing their daily activities, their rituals, their harvests, and their religious beliefs. The concept of time was as sacred as it was crucial, and so began humanity's endeavor to measure it, to record it, to control it. Among these ancient civilizations, one stood out for its ingenuity and innovation, ancient China. In a time when most societies were still bound by the cycles of nature, the Chinese were pioneering new ways to measure time. They understood that time was more than just the turning of day into night or the changing of seasons. It was a relentless force, constantly moving, never pausing. And they sought to capture this force in a tangible form. Their innovative spirit led them to create some of the earliest and most sophisticated timekeeping devices known to mankind. From water clocks that dripped time away, to incense clocks that burned it, to the intricate lunar calendar that marked the passing of months and years, the Chinese found ways to tame the elusive concept of time. Their inventions not only revolutionized their own society, but also laid the foundation for future innovations in timekeeping. They marked the beginning of a journey, a journey that has brought us from the sands of time to the digital age. Understand the journey of timekeeping, we're going to travel back to ancient China, where some of the earliest methods were invented. In ancient China, one of the earliest methods of measuring time was through the use of water clocks. A fascinating innovation, these water clocks, or clepsydra, were ingeniously designed to measure the passing of hours with the steady drip of water. At its core, a water clock was a simple contraption. It consisted of two vessels, one filled with water positioned above an empty one. The water from the top vessel would slowly trickle down into the lower one through a small hole. By observing the water level in the lower vessel, the ancient Chinese could estimate the passing of time. But let's not underestimate the sophistication of these devices. Some were engineered with a series of balanced scales and floats, adding an extra layer of precision. They were even adjusted seasonally to account for the length of days and nights. In daily life, these clocks played an essential role. They were used in homes for timekeeping, in temples for regulating rituals, and even in governmental offices for keeping track of work hours. The water clock was a symbol of order, a testament to humanity's desire to quantify the elusive concept of time. The accuracy of these clocks, however, was not without its limitations. Factors like temperature and atmospheric pressure could influence the flow of water, leading to variations in timekeeping. Despite these drawbacks, the water clock remained a prevalent timekeeping tool for centuries. But the water clock was more than just a utilitarian device. It was a reflection of the ancient Chinese philosophy that saw a deep connection between the cosmos and the natural world. The steady flow of water was seen as a mirror to the relentless march of celestial bodies across the sky. The invention of water clocks marked the first significant stride in the journey of timekeeping, but it was far from the last. The quest for precision and reliability would lead to further innovations, each one bringing us closer to the modern concept of time that we understand today. So as we move forward, let's remember the humble water clock, the device that set the tempo for our dance with time. As the need for more precise timekeeping grew, the Chinese invented the incense clock, an incredible leap from the water clock. The incense clock brought a new dimension to the concept of time, the sense of smell. Imagine a world where the passage of time was not just seen or heard, but also smelt. This was the world of the incense clock. These elegant timekeepers were far more than just practical tools. They were also an integral part of religious and ceremonial activities, infusing the air with fragrant smoke as they marked the passing hours. So how did these aromatic chronometers work? The principle was simple yet ingenious. 
Incense sticks or coils were carefully crafted with different types of incense, each with a specific burning rate. As the incense burnt, it would gradually reveal markers, often in the form of tiny embedded materials such as metal or wood, which would drop onto a resonant surface below, creating a sound to signal the passing of a specific time interval. The beauty of the incense clock lay not just in its precision, but also in its adaptability. By changing the type or amount of incense or by adjusting the distance between the markers, the duration of time measured could be subtly altered. This allowed the incense clock to be tailored to fit a wide range of activities, from the meditation practices of Buddhist monks to the courtly rituals of the imperial palace. But the incense clock was more than a timekeeper. It was a symbol of the harmony between man and nature, a reminder of the transient beauty of time passing, and a testament to the ingenuity of ancient Chinese inventors. Indeed, the incense clock represented a significant advancement in the history of timekeeping. It was a fragrant testament to the relentless human drive for precision, a drive that would continue to push the boundaries of timekeeping technology. The incense clocks brought a new level of precision to timekeeping, but the evolution didn't stop there. The journey through time, it seems, is as inexorable as the burning of incense. The Chinese continued to innovate, introducing the seismoscope, the lunar calendar, and eventually standardizing time. In the heart of the Eastern Han Dynasty, around the second century, Zheng Heng, a polymath, invented the first seismoscope. This instrument, while not a timekeeping device per se, was a remarkable technological leap that showcased China's advanced understanding of the natural world and the passage of time. The seismoscope was ingeniously designed to detect and indicate the direction of distant earthquakes, a testament to the meticulous attention to detail that was also evident in Chinese timekeeping. Moving forward, the Chinese people developed the lunar calendar, a significant milestone in their timekeeping journey. This calendar was based on the cycles of the moon. Each month began with the new moon and lasted until the next, roughly 29 and a half days later. This lunar calendar was not just a method of marking time, but also played a pivotal role in agriculture, as it helped determine the best times for planting and harvesting. It also influenced numerous cultural and religious festivals, embedding itself into the very fabric of Chinese society. As time passed, the need for a standardized system grew apparent. With the advent of railways and telecommunication, maintaining a unified time across the vast expanse of China became crucial. And so, in the early 20th century, the Beijing Mean Solar Time was adopted as the country's standard time. This move brought about a new era of synchronization, enabling the smooth functioning of modern systems and industries. These advancements not only revolutionized timekeeping in China, but also had a profound impact on the world. The seismoscope demonstrated a profound understanding of the Earth's rhythms. The lunar calendar influenced agricultural and societal practices, and the standardization of time paved the way for modernization. China's journey through timekeeping is a testament to its innovative spirit and its enduring influence on the world's perception of time. From water clocks to digital watches, timekeeping has come a long way. Spanning millennia, the quest to measure time has seen countless innovations, each building on the achievements of the past. Stepping back into ancient China, we marvel at the ingenuity of water clocks, the first significant stride in our timekeeping journey. These incredible devices, harnessing the steady drip-drip of water, allowed our ancestors to mark the passage of hours, transforming their understanding of time. But human curiosity is relentless. The water clock was only the beginning. The desire for even more precision led to the invention of incense clocks. With their fragrant smoke and carefully timed burns, these clocks brought a new level of accuracy to timekeeping. Yet, the march of progress did not stop there. The creation of the seismoscope demonstrated the Chinese's mastery over time and their ability to use it for practical purposes. This invention allowed them to detect and measure the timing of earthquakes, an achievement that was centuries ahead of its time. Alongside these innovations, the Chinese lunar calendar was born. Based on the cycles of the moon, this calendar was a testament to the Chinese's deep understanding of celestial mechanics and their relationship with time. But even this was not enough. 
the standardization of time was a landmark achievement, a testament to the human desire for order and consistency. It brought uniformity to timekeeping, allowing people across vast distances to synchronize their activities. Today we've moved far beyond these ancient methods. Timekeeping is now a precise science, integrated into every aspect of our lives. From the wristwatches we wear to the digital clocks on our smartphones, we are constantly aware of time's relentless march. Each invention, each discovery, has built upon the last, leading us to the precise and convenient methods we use today. We've come a long way from watching water drip or incense burn. Our journey through time is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. And so we continue to tame time, each tick and tock marking our progress through history. As we look back at the evolution of timekeeping, we can't help but wonder what the future holds. Will we harness the power of quantum physics to create clocks of unimaginable precision? Or perhaps we'll develop a new way of perceiving and measuring time that completely redefines our current understanding. The possibilities are as infinite as time itself. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology and knowledge, we keep challenging and reshaping our concept of time. From the steady drip of a water clock to the near instantaneous tick of a quantum clock, our journey is a testament to human innovation and our relentless pursuit of understanding. The future of timekeeping is a thrilling leap into the unknown, filled with potential and uncertainty. And as we march forward, each tick and tock is a reminder of our progress and our potential. So, what's next in our quest to tame time? Only time will tell. Join us on this exciting journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting facts about the world around us and keep up with our quest to understand the world, one tick and tock at a time.